It is a city within a city. In tonight's look at this, Sky Cal's Desmond Shaw reports on the rich history of the city of San Fernando. Well, take a look at this independent city. This is San Fernando, founded in 1874 by George McClay. This little city is the oldest in the valley, and it's where the name San Fernando Valley actually comes from. The area partly a result of a big land boom after the Southern Pacific Railroad finished a rail line between the Central Valley and Los Angeles. Settlers really loved the weather and abundant groundwater supplies, which helped agriculture to flourish here, especially citrus. Back then, it was known as the gateway to the north. Today, you will hear it referred to as the Mission City for its close proximity to the San Fernando Mission, which is ironically in the Mission Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles. And indeed, San Fernando is surrounded by LA on all four sides. It's had quite the interesting relationship with the uh, metropolis, which is literally 200 times uh, its size. If anything, the story of LA is really a story about water. The single biggest factor of how LA grew to be so big uh, was because of the abundant supplies of water, surreptitiously acquired, some would say stolen, via the Los Angeles Aqueduct. The city charter of LA actually forbids them from giving or even selling any water outside of their city limits and so that's why a lot of unincorporated areas were kind of forced to join LA because they didn't have water supplies of their own but San Fernando did and so they were not only able to maintain their independence but they became their own city in 1911 and in kind of an interesting twist according to some archives I found on calisphere.org the city actually had some annexation plans of their own they wanted to fold Pacoima, Somar and Mission Hills into the city limits of San Fernando which would have increased the city size about tenfold None of those plans came to fruition, however. Regardless, the city is fiercely independent, has its own distinct identity, distinct architecture, and check this out. It also has the oldest two-story structure in the San Fernando Valley. Here it is right here, the Lopez Adobe, now a very cool uh, museum. Also have the San Fernando Mall, a shopping center which predates the city, going back to 1910. It really is a cool little city worth exploring. I can vouch for it personally. I lived here for more than three years. It's also where I found my beloved Duke Dog, so it will always hold a special place in my heart. Big thanks to my friend and former mayor of San Fernando, Joel Fajardo, for telling me to come and check it out. Taking a look at this from SkyCal, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, just write us at lookatthis at cbs.com.